Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am here today with box number two from my most recent thread up 200 pound bulk mystery rescue box. Box number one was actually pretty great in my opinion. I've got a lot to take to Play-Dohs. I am waiting until I unbox this box before I go to Play-Dohs. I think I'd like to take two boxes worth because right now I do have one full tub. I like to take two. I still have to do some laundry. I did get a couple of those new tags and just holiday-ish items listed already. And I plan to do the same with this. If there's anything new or Christmassy, um, I will get those things listed. The rest of it will have to wait its turn in line as we get through my holiday listings. But I am hoping for things that Buy Sell Trade will take. I do plan to do like the last time and send the rejects that our brands that thread up will take back back to them in a partner kit and hopefully i have some things i can list myself and always some things to keep all right remember these came or i wanted to also mention box number one had 87 items which that's a lot compared to some of my other boxes there, you know there were some i think bras and some smaller items so and these came from the pennsylvania warehouse so there's one little piece of tissue and we're just gonna dig in. I've got some bins down here for kind of sorting. All right, it's shoved in, but I see something sparkly and I love glitter. We've got a bra. This is something. Look at that back. It is a front clasp. It is not new with the tags. It is Cacique, a size 40D. This is a great bra brand to be on the lookout for. It sells pretty well. And this, even though it's not new with the tag, I love this. Uh, it's in pretty great condition. So that is one, this, I will put items here. I will prioritize listing. I love listing intimates because it's like a four photo, super easy listing. All right, we've got mod cloth, size extra large. A, it kind of looks like a sweater vest, but I think it's just like a little, I don't even know what you call these sleeves, but this is cute very 70s like retro vibe for in me oh my gosh <laughs> in my opinion it is late in the day it's a little dark lighting is probably terrible but it is a muggy or rainy we have a cold front coming in i know some of you are under like feet and feet of snow but it is in the 50s outside here in orlando which that's winter for us so it's only getting colder we've got another cacique bra 40d is that what this one was Yep, so sometimes I think that, I yes, a lot of times the items in these boxes are the rejects, the things they did not want to list. Other times I think they just have so much coming in that they don't, they just shove people's donations into one box, like the same person's, um, because this is another excellent, I don't think they sell bras anyway, but this is excellent condition. Another really cool design bra. I probably won't list them together though. And while I'm at it, I see one more bra here. Also probably Cacique and 40D. Oh, 42D for this one. Another really pretty, they're very well made. I think it's, it's Lane Bryant's um, intimate line. So, all right, let's speed this up. We have got an Express size large. This is like a corduroy, lightweight corduroy. Um, I think this is a men's shirt because, yeah. Which is even better, honestly, because if this was Women's Express, I probably wouldn't list it, but men's with graphics or, you know, characters, I cannot speak today, tend to actually sell. What's, it's not, that's not even the word I'm looking for, but pretty sure that's men's and I will list it. This is Athleta. This box is starting out pretty well. This is Athleta, size 14. This is a... What are you, a dress? It feels really great. Is there shorts? No, it's just a really nice athletic material with an exposed zipper on the back. Now again, I'm not looking these over really carefully, but um, you guys often will see flaws that I don't until I get it under the light, but ooh, this feels lovely. What are you? J. Crew, new with the tags. There we go. No retail price, but it's an ivory. It looks like a robe. A robe? No, it's a jumpsuit. 
but it feels like um, sleepwear material. So I have never seen a jumpsuit like this that looks like a robe. That's really cool. So that is going to go in my, let's get it listed. That would make a perfect gift. We've got a Hanes Ultimate Collection. See, it's not all gonna be great. Hanes, a size extra large, a sweatshirt that says, healing the world through comedy, making a literal difference metaphorically. This is funny, and you know, I think my mom would love this. <laughs> so I'm gonna put that in a pile to show her. All right, Zara Basic, just a very basic with some buttons on the sleeves. This will go to Play-Dohs. This is a bodysuit. Alia, A-L-Y-A, which is sold at Francesca's. That will also go to Play-Dohs. We've got another bra. This is a really cute bralette with removable padding. This is Matilda Jane, extra large, nice. I love, if you follow my channel, I know these videos often bring people who don't necessarily follow my channel. You just search for Thread Up 200 Pound. Welcome, please subscribe. My name is Amanda. I sell on Poshmark Mercari and Kitizen. So I do sell a lot of kids clothes. I did not know that Matilda Jane, I mean, now, now that they say it, it does very much resemble their style and patterns. So cool. We have another bra. And I'm not sad about it because these weigh nothing and so that's going to increase the amount of items that i have and my what i do is i take the total number of items from all four boxes combined remember if you watched part one i did these boxes are 400 dollars, but i paid 292 because they were on sale this is melrose with love i don't know what that is but maybe it's not a bra maybe this is like one of those crop tops that are kind of in um it is broken though the Underwire is a little messed up. Okay, this is cute. This is Tiny, which I do know that that's an anthropology brand because I've, I learned about it from one of these boxes. These boxes provide a lot of education, in my opinion. And also, I feel like um, it's like going to the bins, and there are going to be some duds, but it's like somebody went to the bins and did most of the work for me and for the same cost. This is loft, the size tag portion was cut out. This is really, it's got a very cute neckline. It's a dress, a floral dress. I'm going to guess it's an extra large or even a double X. I will try to measure that one. We've got a dance skin tank with, it's just gonna go into donation because it's all coming apart, which I do have a box of donations already. Ooh, we've got a White House Black Market jacket, size 10. These are my favorite. You guys hear me say some of the same things. I love White House Black Market for myself. I actually own several of these. These are what I like to wear over my dresses. When we go out to dinner, I have purple and black and white. I don't have this color. This is really cute. This would be so cute with a pair of jeans. Um, the, all of the ones I have, except for the, I have bought two full price before I knew better from White House Black Market and I paid over $100 retail for them. Since then I have bought them all from Poshmark around the 10 to $15 mark. So the resale value is not there. So I will probably just keep this one for myself. Otherwise I would send that back to thread up. They're going to price it more. Style Encore, Clothes Mentor might take that, but they're not gonna give much. This is, Brass Plum BP, which is like the Nordstrom Junior brand. It doesn't have a size though. The size tag was cut out. Play-Dohs does take athletic wear with no size. I don't know if it would take that. Old school Morona, but if you watched my recap video, that video has done so well. I'm glad you guys are learning something from it. Um, where I took all of the items from my last 200 pound box there. Surprisingly, Buy, Sell, Trade did take a ton of Morona, even the new with tags items. Uh, these are size six, they retail for $27.99. They're a mid-waist curvy hip trouser. So I will take those to Buy, Sell, Trade because uh, Thread Up will not take Target back. This is 
Banana Republic size 12. I'm loving that I am getting a lot of larger sizes instead of typically you get a lot of extra smalls and zeros. This is a nice salmon colored dress. I'll list it. Here's to my cup. <laughs> I can't say this out loud because my children are sitting in the next room on their computers. Here, you can read it for yourself. <laughs> oh, this is Rock Rose Couture, size medium. Proverbs 3, 5. Well, so they're quoting Bible verses on a shirt like this, so that's interesting. I will look up this brand just because maybe it's like a small shop that does well. Otherwise, I don't know if Play-Dohs would take that. Maybe. We have got another bralette. Somebody clearly cleaned out their bra drawer. This is Zanana size 2X. Just a really, I mean, then they're all in great condition, those. Here's another. This one is Cacique, size 18, 20. So these are great. These are just super easy listings and a good 20 bucks a piece. We've got Fabletics. Ooh, these feel nice. I've said before, I won't list Fabletics if they don't have this pull tab. My Play-Dohs will take it without the sizing, so that's where those will go. If it was new tags or had the pull tab, I would list it myself because I would get a little more. This is Jolt, just a cheapy brand, but a really pretty mustard yellow color top. Not really in style, with I don't think, anymore, but maybe Close Mentor will take it. This is Hudson Gray. I don't know that brand. A skirt. Uh, it does have a tear in it. Uh, but I am going to put it in my lookup pile only because, again, I like to learn some brands. But just the way this is not laying right makes me think this is probably just a cheapy boutique. But you don't know if you don't look it up. This is, what are you? I don't know. It's all, it's. I feel like I know this brand. Is this, this isn't Fabletics, right? No, I don't know. It's just one of these cheaper, but it, and this is all peeled off. Anyway, they're cute little high-waisted bike shorts. Wow, y'all remember wearing shirts like this? I remember when this was cool when I was in like sixth and seventh grade, the shirts that were super tiny. This is Christopher and Banks. So obviously at that time, they were probably also cool for the mature crowd, not just middle schoolers. So I don't know. I don't know if this is like cool vintage. I don't know about that. Some lacy something going on here. What are you? 4XL is the tag. So this is just like an Amazon kind of, anyway, it's like a that. <laughs> That is a donate. This is White Fox, size small. Again, it doesn't feel nice. It feels very cheapy. But being that I've never heard of it, I will look it up. We've got H&M, just a olive green blouse. Forever 21. Oh, but it's new with a tag, size 2X. I've said before, I don't mind listing some of these cheaper things if, when they're brand new. This is cute because my Play-Dohs is probably not going to take this. Oh, what is this? Okay, so it's got all this going on. It's a really pretty, like, midi maxi dress that's lined. It's not the right season for it. So this is something I would probably, I don't like photographing dresses, to be honest with you. I'll probably take that to Play-Dohs. They probably won't take it because it's not right season, but we'll see. We've got Loft, size small. I got a lot of Banana Republic and J. Crew and Loft and the like in my first box. Uh, this is a really cute lightweight sweater with a peplum bottom. Oh, I love it when the sleeves are like this and there's a little button on it. Hopefully there's no hole. It's a size small. This feels so nice. It's just 100%, no, 60% cotton, 40% rayon. But I might list this, maybe. I'll look it over again. All right, what are you? C 
see a tag with nothing on it. Michael, Michael Kors, size tag was cut. We've got a dress. The, the straps are very comfy and very, very bouncy. <laughs> uh, it is missing a belt and without having a size, I don't know. Doesn't, it's, it's probably a large, but I don't, it doesn't feel like it. If it was linen or silk or something substantial, I would list it. All the tags are cut, so that's just gonna be a donate. We've got some denim Hollister, size 7R, 2826 high rise, super skinny, a vintage stretch. So some Hollister jeans that will go to Plato's. I've gotten this exact same dress so many times, and I got so many of this dress when I did the bulk boxes last year, B-U-L-Q, um, and got Target returns. Like this this dress like haunts me. It's Wild Fable size 2X. I mean, it's a cute dress, but like, no, I hope Plato saves it. Napa Valley Woman size 2X. This definitely looks like a QVC something or another. They do not feel good. They're just like, and that's a 2X? I don't know. That's a donate. All right. I can see we're like halfway, I feel like. Maybe. Pretty garbage. Pretty garbage, Plato. This is fun. This is J. Crew uh, Factory, size zero. I love when they do the scallop trim. This is cute. I love lily and brightly colored things, so that's why I think this is super cute. I don't see an inner tag though, which is fine. I just wanted to see when it was from, but doesn't have the fabric tag. I don't know. It has a little spot on it, so it will need to be washed. That is the one thing with these boxes. It's a lot of work. Like a lot of these items simply need washed. I always end up doing like four loads of laundry. Uh, yeah. All right, this is Lauren Ralph Lauren. Size tag was cut. I feel like that's been the theme of this box. Uh, I think, is there stains on it? Hand wash has a supplier number, but it doesn't. Um, it just says hand wash cold. Doesn't have the material. Doesn't feel like cashmere or anything. Um, it is probably a large. It's cute. You know what, like, I don't know. I might try it on. Maybe something cute to wear to a school function this winter. Petite, size eight, Banana Republic. Some pants how do how well do banana republic and j crew like pants like this do for you because i got a lot of them in the first box and i'm not sure what to do with them made for life petite medium quick dry skirt i feel like i've seen this at like costco or sam's club y'all know i love a good skirt it doesn't really feel like it's been uh washed so that'll go to my salt trade. Hollister size three S, which I'm assuming is short. Wow, these are so tiny. I remember the days when I wore odd numbers. It's been a long time. All right, Kenzie jeans, size eight. Uh, I think this is just like maybe like a Kohl's brand, but they've got some serious like puckering right here. You can't really see it on there. I have a pile also for my, I just call her my niece. It's my best friend's little girl. She loves when I get these bulk boxes because whatever stuff Play-Dohs doesn't take that I know thread up is not going to take like any of the Target or I always have a trash bag full for her and it's like Christmas. She loves it. All right. Size so seven Hollister again. Does Hollister put the date in there just because that is another tip before I take anything to buy, sell, trade. I do tear out the date tag. All right, looks like we've got some scrubs. Butter Soft Stretch Scrubs, brand new with a tag. Navy, size small. Um, I guess I'm gonna have to list those. It looks like there maybe is some pants. Let's see another tag. Yep, here's the pants. 
maybe. The pants are medium. Of course, they can't be the same size. Uh, so they don't feel like figs or anything like that. Probably just wherever you buy cheap scrubs, but maybe they're worth listing. This is a pretty olive green shirt. It's like, did somebody cut this themselves? No. Project Social Tea and Urban Outfitters. So maybe that was a collab, but I don't know. Definitely looks like somebody took scissors to it, maybe. Maybe, I don't know, I'll look it up. Ooh, this looks cozy. What are you? Oh, it's just Target. Oh, I love Target. Target makes cute clothes, don't get me wrong, and a lot of it will sell. This is universal thread size small, but very oversized. I don't know if you can tell, it's like multicolored. It's pretty, it's a size small and it would definitely fit me. Universal Thread's not men, right? Also, I don't think so. This is cute. I might try this on. I am definitely not a small, but I like this. For the five days we can wear sweaters, but tomorrow is one of those days and we have lunch plans. So this is from March of 2020. That's cute. Perk of the job, you can add to your wardrobe when you buy these. This just has a medium, like the Amazon cheapy. Oh, it is a bodysuit that looks like tidy whities Play-Dohs. They took all the bodysuits last time. Okay, this is called the cheat. Oh, this looks like it could be something, even though it's... Okay, so the tag says that cheese plate. Mm, I love a good cheese plate. Size medium. This literally says cheese and the cheese plate. Is this a restaurant? If it is, they, they have high quality merch because this feels really nice. I love cheese, but I like my sweatshirts oversized. If that was a large, I would totally keep that. All right, we have got Slazinger Golf, retail $40. Never heard of this brand, but it's golf. It's new with tags. Let's get that listed for Christmas. I see Hollister. A Hollister size small top Play-Dohs. More Hollister jeans. Holy moly. This is like pair number five, size seven. I don't know. If, if they don't want to take any of these, maybe I could lot them up. But I hope they take them. Ooh, this is some Adidas. But look at that tag. It's seen some better days. Size medium. Does have a spell out down the side, though. So the pants themselves, at first glance, actually don't appear. Maybe that tag just got stuck on something in the wash. I, don't know, I might, I might sell those. Actually, I take it back. Some more lingerie. This was not from the same person who sent in those bras though. This is, ooh, new tag. Carmen Mark Volvo Casabella, size two. Um, it is the Eyelet Plunge Bodysuit. Okay. I mean, it, it feels all right, I guess. I'll list it. Hey, buddy. Hi. This is J. Crew, size medium. This feels wonderful. Like a nice thermal top. Doesn't feel like it's ever been washed. The date tag was cut, though. Oh. No, it wasn't. It's a different tag. Holiday of 2016. So maybe somebody opened this up and then just didn't ever wear it. I don't know, but I'll put it in the maybe list pile. Forever 21, just a cute little pair of shorts. Blue Rain, size large. I always get this brand. I can't remember where it's at, but I feel like comps are like okay for some pieces. This is a um, jumpsuit. It's actually really cute. There's a keyhole button in the back, some buttons down the front. This is a copper fit size medium, just like a athletic. I don't think that brand is anything, but I'll look it up because I don't, I don't know for sure. And it takes two seconds. Old Navy boyfriend. Where's the size? Size large. 
you can tell, like it looks new, but it's weird. Oh wait, did they put the size there? Oh yeah, it's white on white. I couldn't see it, it's right there. So just a nice striped tee. It's just old navy, but I think I'll keep it. All right, Miami. Is this, it's my, it says Miami pink, but I didn't, you guys, this feels so cheapy. Look how tiny this is. A little tube top, but it's indeed pink, like Victoria's Secret pink, new with the tags. All right, I guess I'm gonna list this. <laughs> it's a size small. Okay, we've got Calvin Klein Performance, size medium. Leggings, they're actually in pretty good shape. Those will go. Another bra. All right. What are you? Saw something shiny in the light. Fabletics, right here on this kiss. I don't think you can see it. See how it's shiny? It's like a clear. But here's the problem. <laughs> this feels brand new. There's not a spot for, is it reversible? I'm like there's not a spot for padding, but I bet you that's because it's reversible. Is there a Fabletics logo on this side? No. I don't know, this is cute though. I will look this piece up just because I've said I like to list bras if it's going for 15, 20 bucks. Maybe I'll list it and hopefully, what I just had to list a pair of jeans that didn't have this size. And so I just did my measurements and I looked on Posh for, and I looked through about five listings. So I found someone else who did the same type of measurements as me and was able to find the size that way. So this is just a divided, this reminds me of Gryffindor. This is Gap Fit. Oh, I feel so, I love Gap Fit. Extra small, uh, they're dry material. This is in really great condition, I feel like. If this was a large, I would just keep it. Their stuff just feels, if you've not tried this for yourself, if you do a Gap Partner Kit, get you some of this, because it's expensive. I've been getting a lot of Gap items in my house because I've been using my Gap gift cards from ThreadUp, and my gosh, I got 15 pieces the other day of kids' clothing. Retail would have been $500. That's just absurd to me. So anyway, that will go to Play-Dohs. If it was new with tag, I would list it. Ooh, got a jacket. <gasps> what is wrong with it? It is coach, size zero. Look at this, it's like a pea coat. Oh my gosh, this feels so nice. Oh, look, it has the, the C's inside. Um, I'm gonna have to really inspect it, but like at first glance, I don't see See what's wrong with it. Nothing glaring, which means even if it's small, it has a little key. I mean, it, it's definitely real. Like there's too many, this feels nice. The buttons say coach. Wow, this feels nice. I need to get this listed. Yeah, cool. Okay. I'm reminded why I don't wear my hair down when I do things like this. Well, what are you, another jumpsuit? This is one state, size four. This feels nice, like a substantial piece. It's like denim, but striped. It reminds me of the Oshkosh little kid overalls with the train on them. Anyway, I don't know if there's any big stains or anything on it, but this is really cute. And I feel like with this brand, there might be a cute stock photo. My look up pile is, this chair is about to fall over. Bishop and Young. I know I've heard of that. Can't tell you where it's sold from, but just a little off the shoulder deal. It's cute. Doesn't feel very good, but. All right, I see the bottom. We're getting there. This is Banana Republic, size small. Uh, maybe one shoulder? Yeah. It's pretty, a pretty color. Holiday or something, 2016. We'll see. We'll see how much I have to list. Ooh, got a corset. Like not a shirt corset. I don't think, I believe this is actual like lingerie. And, oh, there's a tag. 
Hey, hey, Cassique, size 14, 16. Oh, that goes. See, this tag looks a little different than the others. But I'll list it. Y'all should see how much I have to list in this house. This is it's crazy. It's fine, though. All right, Athleta, size small. I was watching Becky Park, and I'm like, she's talking to me. She's talking to me through the screen. She was talking about, like, the overwhelming amount of inventory. It just doesn't stress her out. Like, I don't like my house to be a mess, but my mess is, like, not usual. I don't like it to be in my common space, but, like, all my unlisted inventory is in totes in my room. We have a really large bedroom. It's fine. Nobody goes in there. It doesn't bother me. <laughs> like, anyway, this is Old Tag Athleta. Did I say that? Sorry. Size medium, just a straight, it's very long shirt. I'll list Athleta. I will get people into my store. Universal thread, size extra small. This feels really nice. The gauzy shirt. This is size medium tall from Old Navy. This is a jacket. Athleta. I just know because I see the little, this is a size large Athleta jacket. What color is this? It's like a brown. This is cute. It's definitely older tag. It's got a zipper here. This feels really nice. Oh, here's the inside. It is cotton nylon spandex. 11 of 2015, but I'll still list it. Some people have their pieces that they love and maybe somebody loves this jacket and they're looking to replace it. I've got a pink number here. Uh, <laughs> here we go, here, I saw it, I saw something. Mustard seed, um, what are you? Oh, I think it's a romper with a cutout back. Yeah. Yikes. Um, I, yeah. I don't, I think, I don't think, Play I think Play-Dohs Play might look at me crazy if I try to take them that. All right, so this is CCK style, size small 36. I don't know, this looks like a Shein type piece and it doesn't feel good. More stripes, I just had black and white stripes. This is Old Navy, size large boyfriend. Again, this is, feels brand new, just like that blue and white one. So, hey, now I got two new t-shirts. This is Onzi, size small, medium. This is a, a good workout brand to pick up. Oh, this is really cute and so tiny. These are AG, they're white. They're gonna be a mess, I already know. Um, Adriana Goldschmied, the stilt crop cigarette crop, size 29, so it's a good size, but I don't know if people are still wearing white jeans. And oh yeah, there's the staining on the back. I don't know if you'll be able to see that. These yellow stains, like right in the crack. <laughs> I actually do have a couple pieces of things I need to bleach and I wait, I don't use bleach like unless it's for this kind of stuff. So I have a pile that's growing in my laundry room when it finally gets big enough, I'll, I'll see, I'll toss it all in. We've got a Fashion Nova tubular bodysuit. I have listed a few pieces of Fashion Nova new with the tag and those don't even sell. So hopefully Play-Dohs will take that. We've got a VYI. Don't know, but it feels terrible. Like a little crop sparkly sweater with no other tag Play-Dohs. We've got, oh, a very long dress. This is, oh, Banana Republic size four. This is gorgeous. I love this color. It feels like silk. Let's see, what's gonna be wrong with it? A huge run? No, it's just 100% polyester, but it is from summer of uh, 2020. So that means I might be able to find a nice stock photo, but you guys might see there might be a huge stain or a huge run. I'll have to look, but I don't like listing dresses, but I'll do it. Hi, babe. Hi. You can come say hi to your people. Hi, people. 
<laughs> Another um, piece of lingerie. This is the theme of this box, but this is just a no, no brand size large. So I probably will not list that one. It doesn't feel nearly as nice as the others. It's more black lace. This is pretty. Banana Republic, size medium. I feel like I have this shirt in another color. It's a tank top with their signature like scalloped edge, keyhole back. This is really pretty. I love Banana Rep Republic clothes. They, their designs, they just do a good job. Quality always feels great. Summer of 2015, but I'll still probably list it. We've got like four more pieces. Loft, size four. Some gray pants with a raw hem. I will probably, hmm. I will see what I have to go to play to, or clothes mentor, but otherwise I will send those back. This is the Old Navy logo, size small petite, some leggings. Rifle Trade might not take petite, but I would list those just because they're petite. All right, this is it. Last piece in the box, another jacket. Zara Basic, size extra large. Definitely not as cool as the coach jacket. However, being that it's an extra large, let me not talk too soon. I will, it needs to be washed. I think the lighting is so bad. I'll have to look tomorrow. I think, I think maybe I'm seeing halos. Maybe there is not a stain. It looked like there was maybe a pit stain. So it might have to be washed, but I will check comps. Uh, Zara is one of those things, like if this was like a influencer wore this kind of thing, it could be worth something. Otherwise it might not be worth my time and it's heavy. It would just go to Play-Doh. So you'll have to stay tuned. I am putting uh, out one video a week of these four boxes amongst all the other things because I'm not, I don't, I can't, we're hosting Thanksgiving and this video will probably go up the day after Thanksgiving. So I can't dig into the other two boxes yet. Two was my limit beforehand. So uh, what was your favorite piece? I mean, I love, honestly, all those Cacique bras were fantastic. I feel like if, they're, if this is gonna be about 80 pieces, if I had to guess again, like the first one. And remember I had 292 into the four boxes. So anyway, my cost of goods is gonna be about $1.30 per piece. That coach jacket, several pieces of Athleta, a lot of Banana Republic. I think that this is going to, this. I don't know if this is the best box, but I'm very pleased with this. This is what I like to see in these boxes. A couple great things, some fluff, a couple pieces to keep, but my donate pile only has four pieces in it. So that's a plus. All right, guys, please give me a thumbs up, drop me a comment, and I will see you for a few other things, but soon, box three and four. Bye.